Developing Students' Academic Writing Skills in English Challenges Writing is challenging for second language learners, and academic writing requires an extra level of effort and skills. In content-based instruction, writing serves to show not only what has been learned, but also what has been researched. Skills of summarizing and inference are called on to extract information from reading and then share information in a clear, cohesive manner. Many students are afraid of writing since it seems so much more permanent than speaking and because others might judge their skills or lack of them. In some cultures, only the most gifted people dare to write in certain forms. So our goal as teachers of writing is to make them comfortable with the skill and then move on to particular academic forms. Gaining the ability to express yourself in writing can support being able to build on that to use a variety of genres and structures in the future. Depending on the student's L1, a variety of challenges can be evident. In some languages, the way of thinking is expressed differently than in English, which is generally much more direct and like a telegram or text message than a poem with flowery speech. Spoken English also varies quite a bit from the written form, which can be confusing for second language learners. Spelling is inconsistent and can vary from one variety of English to another, notably British and American. Cohesion and coherence are the major stumbling blocks for second language writers with word choice and mechanics following right behind. Vocabulary errors, especially when the writer is using direct translation, can certainly hinder understanding. Sharing models of excellent writing in the genre that is being taught is a beneficial reading activity to reinforce writing. Useful activities. Pre-writing activities, especially in pairs or small groups, can help to organize ideas and find ways to express them. Starting with group discussions and incorporating note-taking can be effective strategies. Reading before writing can enhance expanding vocabulary and noticing co-locations, how and where words are used together. This can lead to better writing with regard to coherence. Generally, gaining confidence in writing is critical to moving on to academic subjects. Using shared experiences in the classroom that lead to further written activities can help. People usually like to talk about themselves, so making the subjects personalized at first can be a step towards learners feeling comfortable in the written form. Writing from a personal perspective first before shifting to more objective topics can be very helpful in the process. Group writing can also be an effective method for assisting learners to improve and become clearer in written expression. Talking to peers, making decisions about grammar and vocabulary before and while writing, and having an audience to share with in the classroom are all important elements to enhance writing skills. Writing process and feedback. Knowing your audience is a key factor in effective writing. It is important for students to know who they are writing for, the teacher, their peers, the school, or a wider audience. Peer editing is a very easy and effective way to create readers who can then respond at the level of the writers for understanding and improvement. Commenting on content before form or a combination of the two is very important for the writer. She or he needs to know that the written words are communicating and she or he is being heard. 
By sharing responses in the class, writers can gain both written and oral feedback and clarify misunderstandings. Rubrics, or a well thought out, clear focus for each exercise, is a necessary part of the writing process. When students are involved in the creating of the rubric, there is a much greater chance that they will be on target and not misinterpreting instructions. You don't want to overload your learners with too many corrections. Focus on one aspect of writing at a time. Read first for content, then form, so that the writer feels understood. You don't want to stifle the desire to communicate and connect. Initially building up writing confidence and then adding in the academic aspects is most constructive. Steps to the final product. Multiple drafts are extremely helpful to hone the skill of writing. Rewriting may not be at all common in your student's experience, so making each draft focus on a different element is an advantage to keep interest and also make sure that multiple elements of writing are addressed. Here is where peer readers can also be utilized, making your job of correcting much easier. Make sure that all writing has been looked at by at least two to three peers before it is handed in to the teacher. That way, everyone has more experience of being a reader and there will be less for you to mark. You can also find out where the majority of the challenges for your learners lie and create extra lessons to address them. What is important is for everyone to enjoy the writing process and make certain that the outcome communicates to readers. Publication is a significant element in writing. Students need to have a clear idea of the outcome of their writing experience. If it might be shared in a wider forum beyond the classroom, they need to be made aware of that from the start. If you use online outlets such as a school website, blogs, or forums for publication, that can motivate writers and make the in-class activities more real and meaningful. Here are the references used for this text. And here are some suggested further readings.